Hi everyone and welcome to beautiful Miami, Florida at the W South Beach for Taste of Tennis Miami presented by City. I'm Harry Chickma. We have another great Taste of Tennis event here. Beautiful spot right on the ocean where some of the best tennis players in the world join with the best chefs. It's an amazing time. Let's go check it out. I love it. I couldn't be happier. We got great weather, we got great players and great chefs. We're kicking off the first annual Taste of Tennis Miami. We are all about happenings here at the W South Beach, so to have the Bryan brothers here. Um, we hear that they're gonna be have a little competition out here a little bit later to do a little ping pong. We have great cooks, great chefs. Andrew Carmelini is here with us, so what could be better? Great music, great food. Beautiful. It's very. I, I didn't know honestly that it was going to be outside, but this is an absolute beautiful setting, and I'm very glad I came. I was, you know, um, I was thinking about it because I didn't know if I would find the time, but I'm so glad I came because it's absolutely beautiful. In Miami Beach, you know, the W. I mean, the environment, the palm trees. It's excellent. I mean, you have, you know, the beach environment. You have the Latin. You have the culture. I mean, all the food here, marrying and representing what Miami is all about. I mean, that's where the guava's from that we're bringing in here. That's where the Montego rum, I mean, we wanted to represent Miami. We are so excited to be here this evening to help celebrate this wonderful event with all of our clients. It gives us an opportunity to get out of the office and have a little fun. We have athletes, both former and current, and we have world-renowned chefs that will be providing a fabulous tasting menu for all of us. We have an array of fabulous chefs with us today, but our featured chef is award-winning restaurateur, author, and entrepreneur, Andrew Carmelini, and he has provided a fabulous tasting menu for us. Well, I think I will get definitely some positive emotions from this and such a beautiful hotel and uh, pool, everything. Uh, so um, I love Miami, I love uh, Miami Beach and um, really was waiting this tournament from the beginning and when we was in Indian Wells, it's uh, such a nice place over there also, but I was really waiting to, to come back here again. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm a big fan of tennis. I grew up doing uh, playing tennis since I was five years old and it's actually really awesome to see some of these players because I watch them every time at the Miami Open, uh, which was formerly other names, but we'll go from there. Um, I'm excited to do this event. I think it's fabulous. It's a, it's, it's a great way to kick off any event. It'd be really cool if they could do this at every tournament, but obviously you, you, when you don't have free days like they do here, they, you know, Monday and Tuesday are free days, and then you can do this kind of stuff. And it, it adds a lot because it you know, gets the players involved with, you know, people get to meet the players and then they don't normally get to see them up close and personal. And that's, you know, that's a big part of the game. It really, really is. We're delighted to be here to join you all, to keep you refreshed through the evening as we share the fine wines of France and also Oakville, the Appalachian in the Napa Valley with you tonight. It's always very exciting to be in Miami to celebrate culinary adventures. It's one of the most dynamic cities in the country and we're sure tonight that the guests will be wowed by the hospitality, the fun and the experience. Sante. I mean, this is absolutely wonderful. This is my first taste of tennis, tennis experience and um, I don't think I want to go. I mean, I'm here for a tennis tournament, like what? No, I'm just kidding, but this is great and um, I'm excited to be a part of it tonight. Maybe I could learn a few things, you know, after tonight since cereal's my specialty, but um, yeah, it's very, it's, it's a great experience for sure. I love it, it's my second time. I was here last year when Feder came to, you know, give us a taste of tennis, but I'm thrilled to have the twins tonight and I love this event. Great time. Oh, well, a lot of folks here, city have done a super job, and the W, what more do you want? Down here at South Beach, I live just up at Aventura, so not far to come, but uh, a great event. They have them all over. They've had them in Australia, Taste of Tennis in Australia. They've had them up at the US Open, and what a way to start off the tournament here in Miami on Wednesday, the one here right at the W. We're going to have one of our signature dishes, which is the ravioli porcini. It's nice ravioli style with porcini mushroom in a champagne sauce, parmigiano-reggiano, and some black truffle. 
We're gonna have also a nice tuna tartare in our side, the style that Emolino makes it nice and fresh. We have 12 in America now, we got one in Tokyo, Japan, we're opening soon in China. So it's just basically also what tennis is about, you know, they are, have a lot of locations, they present the, the spirit, the passion, and they make it happen. You're having a fun time cooking, tell me about it, what are you doing? Well, cooking is maybe a too harsh of a word, I'm just standing and presenting. Um, because I'm not a great cook, but this one tastes amazing and I have the apron on and um, yeah, representing the cooking tonight. What I'm always trying to do right now is to look at sustainable local fish. So we're able to harvest some incredible fish like lionfish, like we saw before, those porgies, vermilion snapper, triggerfish, all sorts of things that don't quite get the pressure of your sort of grouper and snapper and, you know, tuna fish. So we're trying to take some of the pressure off the ocean, eat sustainably, eat locally and eat fresh. I'm excited to go to uh, the Open, hopefully, <laughs> see some tennis myself. I love it because nowhere else can you be watching a tennis match and then look out over the grandstands and see the ocean. I mean, for me, that's heaven. It is beautiful. The weather could not be any nicer. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward, you know, to playing some tennis this week as well. Beyond the fact that we are right on South Beach and this unbelievable weather year round, we have just a phenomenal hotel. Um, our service, the room product, the activation that we have here at the W South Beach, prime place to be here in South Beach. Well, Miami is my home, born and raised here. Uh, I'm, so I'm used to seeing the beach and see, being on South Beach, but first time in the W and I'm really liking it. it is, uh, it's quite my scene. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, Miami, great city. It's always nice to be here. And especially when we have events like this that get people together, especially some from outside of the tennis world, it's nice to be here and be part of that. Hi, I'm Tom Stennett here with Ella Cafe, making a Parmesan crusted grilled cheese for, one, for Michael Schwartz's new pop-up cafe in the design district of Miami, Florida. Uh, first, what we did was we took the, the grilled cheese and grilled it until the Parmesan crust gets nice and golden brown, as you can see here. Afterwards, we sliced it and we put it on our board on top of this wonderful fragrant rosemary, uh, which also makes it really look nice. On top of that will be the heirloom tomato, chutney that we make, also a jam, and that'll just go right on top. It has a little bit of heirloom tomato, caramelized onions, a little agave syrup, champagne vinegar, and it's cooked down until it becomes sweet yet tart, and that's how it comes together. It's a, it's a nice grilled cheese sandwich that's well rounded. Well, then again, I'm Thomas Tennant from Ella Cafe. Come to the Design District and come check out this wonderful grilled cheese sandwich as well as other wonderful offers we got. Mike and Bob Bryan, Taste of Tennis Miami. We did this in New York, now we're in Miami. What are your thoughts on being here? Uh, we're happy to be here. These events are always awesome, you know, to, to eat the great food, meet the, meet the big time chefs. Uh, Miami's a happening place. This is where I live now, so it's, it's good to be here and see all these people. Hometown fan support. How do you like being here before a big tournament? We always love coming to Miami. Um, this is where all the action is, all the excitement. Uh, we played well here in the past. Bob's living here now, so he brings all his family and his friends. We do have the support, so um, hopefully we'll kick off our year here because it's been a little bit slow to start, so this would be good to start it off here. It might be slow, but you guys are the best doubles team of all time. You know, true artists on the court, and you're joining with artists of food, so what's the, what's the you know, similarity of cooking and tennis? Uh, we're just trying to learn some things, man. I'm not a very good chef. Uh, my wife wants me to cook more. She asks, why don't you ever make me breakfast in bed? So I'm gonna learn some, get some tips tonight and uh, hopefully uh, blow her mind. What are you gonna learn here? I don't cook very often. Um, yeah, my, my wife's a great cook. She cooks uh, gluten-free food for me. Uh, I'm going to hopefully piece it together, try to try to uh, flip some pancakes or something. <laughs> I don't know. You might not want to tell her you learn how to cook, because then you're going to have to cook all the time. It could be a problem. But why do you guys keep coming back to Taste of Tennis? I mean, we're good friends with Judy Lerner. Uh, she's done a lot for us. She's a, a big figure at the U.S. Open, and uh, she's been running that event in New York uh, since we were kids. You know, we, we did that event, I think, the first time when we were 18 years old. So now that they've expanded and brought that here, it, it's a great deal for us. And we're also partnered uh, with City. Um, they supported us in our Olympic run in 2012, so we're happy to be here.
love the food and um, you know, getting to come here and meet such amazing chefs. I love to cook, so I always know the chefs, and it's just really cool. I'm cooking at uh, uh, Senegal and the U.S. Open uh, Players Lounge. So she's a big, big fan of us. The uh, you know, pick up the, my sushi, and uh, you know, I, I like it. You know, I'm excited to teach how to roll sushi roll. <laughs> I tried to make sushi before, and I didn't do it right. Now I know how to do it, so I'm really, really happy for that. Taste of tennis. If anyone watches the Today Show, they know I'm the one who eats in every segment. So any opportunity, of course, um, to help a great cause and to be around food, it's a win-win. I think I said on Twitter it's a slam dunk, but that's the wrong sport. So I'm working it out. Well, always very happy to be here. I was a uh, great event uh, last year, so I really couldn't wait to be here again. So, um, you know, event is great. You have, you know, some delicious food around and, you know, good time and you know, nice to catch up with people. This is my fourth year doing a taste of tennis. Um, mostly it's a lot of fun, a little bit chaotic, but the best part about it is definitely uh, hanging out with all the chefs. We have a lot of repeat chefs that come every year. Um, Jonathan Waxman, uh, Mark Murphy's been here a lot. And so this year it's really exciting. More Marco is doing the, uh, the demo this year. So he's kind of a big deal. I mean, it's, a, it's a stressful time of year. Everyone wants to do well at the Open. It's the last Grand Slam. Uh, and I think all the players are relaxed the week before. They're doing a ton of the, these events. Uh, this is just another one. This is a, a tradition. Taste of tennis. Every every player knows about it, and uh, hopefully a lot of players come out because uh, you know this is uh, truly truly a great event. I've been here, I think, uh, as a guest once before, maybe a year ago or two, and um, yeah, it's nice being part of it for the first time, and I'm looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, try to see all the good sides and talk about everything. You know, it's also something nice doing something different outside of the court. We're, you know, on a tennis court all day practicing, and it's nice to have these events and come out and mingle and meet nice people and uh, definitely talk about Jamaica and the Jamaican food. Well, I mean, I love tennis. Obviously, as you know, I played tennis the other morning, which was so much fun. And, uh, you know, whenever you're coming out for a great charity and helping people out and helping kids or whatever it is, I'm always, I want to be there. And I mean, we're in Manhattan, man. It's US Open. It's, everybody gets excited. It's back to school time. Uh, honestly, Taste Tennis is one of my favorite events throughout the entire year. I think it's a great, great project. It brings a lot of great talent together and everyone has a fantastic evening. Well, you know, I'm from Guadeloupe, you know, my dad is uh, from Guadeloupe, so uh, when I heard about this event, I was like more than happy to, to be uh, helping uh, them to, to show how, um, how this fish and uh, everything we got from the island, so, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. Well, it's cool because you can, uh, you know, test like different, uh, this fish of a different country and uh, other cultures, so, you know, it's uh, actually, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. For this event, in, um, in general, for, for New Yorkers, it's, it's, the, the, the flavors are really uh, uh, unique and uh, I've been working you know, with that type of food here in New York for quite a while and I realized a lot of New Yorkers are not very familiar with that, those combinations and everything, so I, I really believe that you know, that's what I'm going to bring here, uh, an association of flavors that people are, are unaware of and, and that's what I grew up eating all my youth and life, so I am, I'm comfortable with it. And because of Guadeloupe, I always go back in the island, see my family and work with the island and push the island in New York so I can have this flavor all the time. Keep me like, you know, I have the sun here, right here, so it's cool. <laughs> well, it will help me to relax, you know, have a, a good one, you know, just enjoying, you know, it's, it's never easy, you know, before slam to have a great days to, to, to be relaxed and today is, uh, it seems like uh, very cool so I'm, I'm very enjoying.
I just love honestly just being together with everyone. It's always been a great event. I've been here since its inception. I look forward to it. It's like it's interesting to see the evolution and how things go. And I mean, it's just it's a cool party. Well, it's a lot of fun, especially working with desserts. It's my favorite. So um, I've been doing more eating than I have been working. So what he created is really amazing and it's very pretty. And I just like looking at it because I want to eat more. <laughs> Just New York City, you know, a little bit of people from everywhere for tennis. Uh, the city's a little bit of people from everywhere. Um, we got great chefs, great food, um, and, and it's just, you know, everyone just comes and mingles and sees people that they don't normally get to hang out with, and, and it's a great night. Sabine Lasicki here at Taste of Tennis Miami. Talk about how fun this is. What a great event. Well, it's always fun. You know, I just arrived um, in Miami from California where I had a good run. So it's, uh, it's nice to be back here. It's a, it's a fun city. It's a fun tournament and fun to have events like these. And what's the best part about being with the best chefs in the world? It is pretty cool, isn't it? Good food, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and what are you learning from these chefs? Ah, it's always little things. I'm looking forward to seeing where I'm going today. Um, but you always find new things out, which is cool. And when you go to an event like this with a lot of your tennis friends, how does it help you for a big tournament? Because Key Biscayne is one of the biggest ones. Oh, it's nice to relax. That's For me personally, it's a way to relax and I love it. Final question. This is the most beautiful place in the world. Many people think Miami, South Beach. What do you think about the beauty of this great place? Oh, it's beautiful. You know, it's, it can't be much better than Miami Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Don't party too hard, though. We have a big tournament coming up, right? No, I need to rest. <laughs> well, Sabine, have a lot of fun. Great Thank seeing you. you. Take care. Caroline Wozniacki, a great time. Are you having fun? I am, yeah. It's nice to be here in Miami. and. It's nice to be at the Taste of Tennis. What's the best part about Taste of Tennis? You have the best chefs, also great players. Yeah, it's it's a fun event and uh, we get to uh, cook some food and sample a little bit, hopefully, and uh, you know, it's just a great time. We kind of all get together and it's, uh, it's definitely something I look forward to every year. Now, how does this help you for such a big tournament? There's a lot of pressure, but I think coming here helps a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of just a fun event. We don't think about tennis and hitting balls. We just kind of enjoy ourselves, which is nice. Final question. I don't think you get anything more beautiful. The lights, South Beach. Talk about the beauty of this venue. Oh, this venue is amazing. Uh, South Beach, the lighting, the sand, the food. I mean, it couldn't be better. For me, it's always been a natural partnership, and every year we do the event, it grows. More chefs get interested. More players seem to gravitate towards it. And it's just great to hear their input onto what they like to eat and you know the dishes we're cooking and there's just a, a whole whole great dynamic interplay. This is awesome. Um, definitely something that I will learn because I don't have that much um, experience of cooking. I don't have a lot of time, just a little bit. So definitely I will look around and. Uh, Enjoy it. I think it's very important, you know, as a as a tennis player or just as, as a professional athlete in general to unwind every now and then because we are very stressed and we are very intense. And so just trying to relax a little bit off, off court is very important and I, um, you know, I love food and I love having people around me and everybody's so happy and great looking in Miami, so it's a perfect way for me to relax. It's a passion. That's described right just with one word, you know, passion. And it's uh, what cooking is all about and tennis as well. Yeah, anytime you can do something off the court, I feel like at a tournament, you know, it always it always puts you, you know, it gets you ready and um, gets you excited for the week to come. So this is something very special and i um, happy to be a part of it. Oh, it goes well. It goes well. I mean, tennis, it's a casual sport, exciting sometimes, and food is a perfect match. I mean, you have to have some food while you enjoy tennis. It's... I think it's great, good combination. It's brilliant, right? I mean, after we do a good round of tennis, we need to eat, so why not some you know, good bites? And uh, I love the W as a venue, it's amazing, one of my favorite spots in Miami. And yeah, the cooking and tennis, I think, goes perfectly together. It's very important to, to eat right. It's just, the, the game has really changed in that regard. I mean, when I, back in the dark ages, when I was traveling, you know, it was, you know, where, where's the nearest McDonald's? And, and uh, you know, but now the, between the, the, the dieting and the training that the players do, 
I mean, it's, it's a completely different world. I've been playing tennis since I was a kid. I was at Nick Voltaire. If you go on my Facebook page, you'll see pictures of me and Pete Sampras when he was a kid. And I've been playing tennis since I was seven years old. So tennis is a natural progression. And then my friend Kerry, Kerry Heffernan called me and said, you have to come. Dedication, blood, sweat, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears for both of them. Uh, determination to make sure that you are putting everything you got into it and what you put into it is what you get out of it. So if you put in the hours, you're going to get the experience back and you're really going to see your, your work come through. And we all love eating and especially when it's uh, good food, we all love that. So I mean, it's, it's great. It's great to bring tennis players to a cook uh, event that everybody cooks uh, great food. So it's a, it's a no-brainer for everybody. Well, there's no question this was truly a great time here at the W South Beach Taste of Tennis Miami, presented by City, a fun time for all. I'm Harry Chickma for the rest of the staff at AYS World. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time at another Taste of Tennis event.